What's good in here, part of people? It has been uh, three months, three days since we've gone. That's not how the song goes, but it has been forever. And I'm so sorry, but um, you know, life. There's so much that has been going on, so much to talk about. We need to talk this. You and I, we need to talk. But before I start rambling, I'm going to show you. This meal has been going viral through Eat With Kim. Um, that's the homie. I wish, right? But she has always eaten her sausage with cucumbers and rice. So that's what I've got prepared for you, for us today. I've got actually some vegan sausages, sausages right in here in some alternative beloved sauce. I'll just say that. But I'm so hungry. So we gotta start eating right now. I'm gonna eat and we can start talking. Sausage. In the sauce, on the brass. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm. mm -mm -mm. This is really the cucumber with the butter sauce, or even when you eat seafood. It's a must, sis. It is so good. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. This is the most delicious sauce from this rice. Mm. Guys, I'm so hungry. So hungry. Mmm. That is good. That's really good. Okay, you know what? Let's take a piece of that. Get some of the sauce. Don't sleep on that sauce. Okay. Get a spoonful of, of rice. Get my sauce or my cucumber ready. Here we go. Cheers. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. You guys, that is deep delicious. Oh my gosh. Mm. So these vegan sausages are from Trader Joe's. I've got two different kinds in here. I'll try this one. But so far, they're delicious. Delicious. And hot. Temperature hot. Mm. Mm mm. 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 You guys, this is so good. You know what? Let me. Mm. You guys, I got some topics today. Or, actually, just a topic today that's. been really close to my heart close to my family and friends and I want to talk about it because represent representation matters and it counts mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. 
can't help but get down with the get down right now. This food though. Mm. This that bike right there. See all that? Mm. Mm -hmm. The freshness of the cucumber. Mm. Oh, no. You can't beat it. You cannot beat it. That is what's up. Mm. A good meal. Um, on a scale of one to good, it's real good. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, which if you're not, says you know that I've been super sick. Like, I have never been that sick before. And it took me out. Out, out. Mmm. Mmm. Anyways, it took me out, but before I got super sick, there's kind of a hot topic floating around that has now become viral, and this is the subject of Mauna Kea. For those of you who don't know what Mauna Kea is, it is on the big island of Hawaii. The island itself is called Hawaii. And it is, or it's supposed to be, protected. <sighs> Gotta get that wadi. Um, by the state. Hawaiian lands. Sacred Hawaiian lands. Right? So there's this company called, or there's this, yeah, a bunch of people actually, called TMT, who want to build a 30 meter telescope on that part of that island, on Mauna Kea. Now, there's a bunch of history of that land being misused and abused, okay? And this company, TMT, wants to use it for $1.4 billion, right? Now, I'm not just talking to telescopes that are already up there, because there are already heaps of them up there. 13, to be exact. It's going to be like a football stadium long, long like huge, and then it's going to drill down into the earth, causing our water sources in Hawaii to be contaminated. Now, 
I just urge everyone out there, before y'all start going off in the comments or doing whatever you want to do, taking whatever side you want to take, do your research. Figure out what's going on. Figure out why there's protectors on the mountain. Figure out motives on all sides. That's important. That's really important. Right? Before I got super sick, I was able to gather with some close friends and start an event. We gathered in this literal ghost town of Utah. They literally call it that. And we were able to pray together, sing together, and just send out good vibes to the people who are protecting Mount Akea. It was honestly one of the top five, three things that's happened in my life. To see people from thousands and thousands of miles away from Hawaii gather together and believe that they could send their love, aloha, their good vibes and their strength. That was amazing. Lots of things have happened since then. The Rock went to go visit. Jason Momoa went to go visit. Reverend Rock went to visit. Other celebrities went to visit. Cassie M. Uwe, a makeup, makeup guru, went to visit. Like, just supporting the pro, the protectors on Mount Cal. I had a really, really good friend who I respect a lot and I love a lot. Um, who's on Maui right now, where I'm from. And she said, it's cool to see a different perspective. And I had to look back and I had to kapo aloha, right? Like, that's what they're saying, like, only love. And I had to, you know, instead of going off, not on her, but just the situation, and just explain, you know, sometimes money, I used to hear it when growing up, money is the root of all evil. Money is the root of all evil. And I was like, well, you need money to survive. Like, I'm trying to get that money. And all that kind of stuff, you know. But this is probably the first case in my life where I have truly, honestly have felt that. That money is literally the, the root of this evil. And as you can tell... I don't want the telescope to go up there. I do believe in certain things. I am a Christian. I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And though I'm Christian, I do believe that there's other religions that have the truth. They have truth in everything. That's good. Like, when it's good, it's just good, you know? And... Sorry, I keep eating. And the Hawaiian people believe this to be part of their practice of religion. And as a Hawaiian, even though I'm not practicing a Hawaiian religion, I know that that ground is sacred. I know that that ground, that mountain, is special. When you walk off the plane in Hawaii, you feel the earth pulsing back at you, accepting you, 
giving you happiness. Why do you think everyone wants to go to Hawaii? Yeah. And it's not only the people. It is the earth. It's the Aina. It's a strength that comes from beneath. And it is something amazing. And I tell you what, not a lot of people get to experience that throughout their life. But I did. So, I guess you can say... This mukbang is a challenge. This mukbang is a challenge to all of you to A, learn more about Monokyo from good sources. And I've had to do it too, learn both sides, right? And then inevitably, take a stand. I'm not here to convince you to stand with us as protectors and believers. But I am here to tell you that this is what I believe. I believe that the protectors on the Mauna are correct. I believe the land in Hawaii is very sacred. And holds a lot of key issues of pain and hurt. And if this does happen with this 30 meter telescope, it's only going to cause more. I do believe that Hawaii is the front end or front row of this quote unquote war. I do believe that if they are able to penetrate and build that TM team on Mauna Kea, the rest of Polynesia stands in danger. And not just Polynesia, all indigenous people. It's happened all throughout history and it's really unfortunate. But I know that our people can do it. I know that we can change it somehow. But, anyways, you guys, I got real deep real quick. Maybe it's because I'm getting full. <laughs> but, I just wanted to talk to you guys about it. It's something that's been sitting on my heart for a little while now. And my question to all of you is, last bite, right? My question is, at what cost? At what cost are you willing to see people suffer more? At what cost are you willing to not listen to the native people in Hawaii? At what cost? At what cost? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I know this might have seemed like a little bit heavier of a topic, but I will be covering this from now on. Um, and also any other indigenous affairs where I feel 
our indigenous people, tribes, etc., are being threatened. There's a couple hot topics. Obviously, the Native Americans. Obviously, those who are in Aotearoa in New Zealand. Um, but I put my swag on it with the mukbangs and the makeup. Stay tuned because I got some fire stuff. So we don't have some fire looks. And I guess I could just say thank you. Because this situation has taught me two things. One, social media is huge. And two, when people are unified and connected and they have a purpose of good, of good, now that's the trick, right? Of good, cannot stop. And me is a, oh, oh. But anyways, you guys, you know what the deal is. Susan, aloha, peace out. Remember to hashtag keep in touch. Comment down below. Like this video. Subscribe to my canal, my channel. And we'll be back. We're going to hit it. I couldn't finish this because I'm full, sis. This is full. But it was for riches. Okay then, guys. Ah. Love you, bye. Love you, bye.